Hello and welcome all my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac. I felt the necessity to come in and do another channel update. I did post a video a couple of months ago in reference to uh, the restructuring of my channel and how you would be able to view the videos now. I am no longer doing the 12 zodiac signs on a weekly basis. I was shooting out 12 videos every single week and it and even more at times with the dailies, with the shorts and with the bonus readings. So it became a little bit challenging after eight years out here pounding the pavement uh, and loving every minute of it to generate traffic from that free marketing venue of YouTube to my website where I'm out here specifically to help people and that is doing private readings and Reiki sessions with people and teaching courses and classes as well. So it just became a little bit too overwhelming. So I sat down and I did a reassessment of my channel. What is giving me my biggest return for the hours and the time that I'm putting out there on all of these videos? And I came to a conclusion that it would be far more uh, helpful to all of you that if I went out on a monthly basis. So by saying that on a monthly basis, this is what you're going to be getting. You're getting 21 cards in a reading and it's a little more detailed, a little more involved. You're getting more energy and, and, and you can go back and check each and every one of those rows starting off, you know, week one, two, three, and four and correlate all the energy cards and the oracle messages with it. Now, this also comes in with clarifiers. So you're getting more bang for your buck, basically, is what I'm doing. So I think it's much better. And actually, I've had a lot of people come in since I've done that and, and, and mentioned that they find it's a lot better because often the energy does not change much on a weekly basis. You often will get uh, repeat cards. You'll often get the same message uh, if you check week for week. So on a monthly basis, you can correlate every one of those weeks into that full month. So that's what I'm doing. However, I'm still doing the bi-monthly finance and career for all the zodiac signs as well because I love all my zodiac signs. But I did have to do uh, an assessment and what I got uh, from doing that and sitting down and doing, um, <clears throat> and doing a spreadsheet on that is that Pisces, uh, I've decided to go with an extension with Pisces. It has nothing to do with me on a personal level being a Pisces. It has to do with what's giving me my biggest return. So Pisces is only an extension on my channel. So when you see all these Pisces videos going out, uh, th they're only an extension. You will still get all the zodiac signs on a monthly basis. I'm still going live to give out messages and card readings to people out on my channel. Um, I try to go out there on Super Chat Sundays but depending on how busy I am doing private readings because I read for other professional readers as well and I try to allocate my weekends free for those people the weekdays for my regular clients. So it's been busy and I can't thank you enough. I love each and every one of you and know that I'm here. I Don't give up on me. I'm still doing all the other zodiac signs but some of you commented and came to me concerned that I'm seeing all these Pisces uh, videos going out, but I'm not seeing my sign. Well, your sign is out there, okay? It is out there. So go and check your monthlies and also your, your bi-monthlies for finance and, um, and career. Now, if there is a big demand for uh, relationship and romance, because as you know, I don't do those publicly. Um, I haven't had a great demand uh, for that, but I usually do them in private readings. But if there's a demand and you'd like me to incorporate a bit of finance or a bit of romance and relationships into readings, I'll do that as well. So I'm open to constructive and kind criticism. So on that note, I love each and every one of my zodiac signs and I can't thank all of you enough, those that have given me the thumbs up, because those thumbs up really help our channel. That little, you know, algorithm in the background there, that artificial intelligence isn't always accurate. So those thumbs up and those beautiful comments and those free subscribers uh, have truly, truly um, enhanced my channel to this level. And I love, I love you all so much for that. So on that note, I send you lots of love from me and many blessings and let's see what your reading is all about. 
Hello and welcome my beautiful Aries. Here is your general monthly forecast for the month of September 23. So let's just jump right into it here and see what we have here for your download message for this month, my beautiful Aries. I hope that August has been good to you. Let's see what we have. What you nurture will grow. So if you have any goals right now, if you're taking, you're, you're involved in any new projects, you're taking any new scholastic courses, uh, things to add to your resume, credits, degrees, um, diplomas, anything, <clears throat> excuse me, that you're working a goal towards, stay focused on it. Keep working on it because what you are going to be putting your time and effort and blood sweat and tears into uh, is definitely going to work out in your favor so things are going to grow now it could be anything it could be you're nurturing a relationship because you want to see it go to the next level uh, you could be working at your place of employment or your business and spending a lot of time and focusing on that with the goal of seeing you know profit coming in and business building so whatever you're working on right now it's going Going to grow so nurture whatever that plan is you've got in your head whatever that goal is whatever you're manifesting that you truly truly need and want in your life this is a time in the month of September to do this now that being said we are in we're heading into retrograde but actually retrograde happens August 23rd to the 14th of September but we've already been in sort of a two week uh, you know we're half we've half been halfway there uh, you know in a shadow period for two weeks and even after the after we go retrograde it's it, we're going to be after it goes direct we're still going to be sort of experiencing that energy so it, there could be things coming in as you will see in this reading when it comes to delays and what's important is you need to be patient at this time while you're working on your goals and what it is you're trying to accomplish so let's start off with our we have one two three four weeks of the month you can read them as you choose past present future beginning middle and end of week whatever you choose to read these as my beautiful beautiful Aries now your first energy card you've got is great fortune and what a great way to start off to begin with and this is all about good luck coming in your way so it's an indication that things are going to improve in your life and things are going to all of a sudden now you're going to see a shift of energy where things start to get better so things are coming true and you know you're going to see some triumphs and you're going to see some happiness here there could be as i said some unexpected luck and you may be you know you may have a very good period now to take a chance on any new opportunities Great fortune doesn't provide comfort for the rest of your days, but indicates that you can hope for an improvement or a winning streak in the short term. It's new opportunities, uh, you know, maybe in new ma in job matters or simply satisfaction from daily work. But it it's also the announce it announces new perspectives and improvements in relationship matters as well. So things are going to be shifting this month of September for you, my beautiful Aries coming in coming in uh next you've got the delay card and something you may be waiting for hasn't arrived or hasn't actually come to the forefront yet so comfort the natural tendency to delay finishing of a creative endeavor so don't procrastinate now they're telling me that this is the time for you to do this now you've got six and two here which is eight you've got six and two here which is eight and we manifest that number eight on that twisted infinity number for money and success it is a master number here so you could be thinking uh, again Aries we've talked about this in the past about your finances and money and how you stand there um, so don't be afraid this is all about how to handle unexpected slowdowns so if you're kind of in this hangman position right now know that this is temporary that these day de delays are only temporary and once things are completed once everything is there once the t's are crossed and the i's are dotted and everything is there to um to assess and analyze for this endeavor this goal this direction you want to go those delays are going to be over now coming in next you have the key and obviously that means you hold the key you hold the key to success here so let's see what we've got so when this card shows up it says pretty much that you have the solutions here to work through any situation um, this is all about having the key to go in and open that door and it already shows the door open there could be great opportunity coming in here as we talked about this 
great fortune card and there could be an increase in income and prosperity and your dreams and wishes and fulfillment coming in inside this cage is a rose and it could be the offer of love and a respect and attention and appreciation that could be coming in for you the support that perhaps you've been needing but it also means that there are goals and there's going to be things that what you're nurturing are going to grow and you hold the key now to your happiness to this so don't be afraid to open it to any new doors of opportunity <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, we've got the book, and this could be you taking a course. It's the symbol of education when we see a book, learning, scholarships, you know, being able to find new discoveries and things like that and gaining wisdom from things. You could be reading. You could be researching. You could be on the computer Googling things. Uh, you could be taking, a, as I say, a new course in form of study. But this is also formal learning from teachers, textbooks, and sometimes maybe informal learning, too, from mentoring and manuals and spiritual seeking workshops self-improvement and life lessons so you're seeking something here don't be afraid to put your nose to the grindstone as they say and get you and and get your nose in the books if you're working on something it's most important that you find out all the information that you need about a certain situation especially if it has anything to do with legal situations we, you know the ramifications can be serious so you need to know uh, you need to know the information is going to be accurate before you agree to anything or sign your name to anything this month of September now let's see what we've got here we've got the in the first week we've got the ten of swords we've got the magician and we've got the temperance card so we've already talked about delays we've already talked about <clears throat> things that might be taking their time here and you having to slow down and do things in moderation so this is about not getting antsy not getting impatient not uh, grabbing the first offer because you don't want to sit and wait or or agreeing to something hastily because you're tired of hearing about it this is about you doing things carefully articulately and accurately and and temperance is balanced so you want to re you want to maintain that even keel so that you have peace in your body you have peace in, of mind as well so stay calm at this time don't go jumping into anything too quickly you've got the ten of swords and it says you know you've been through an awful lot some of you and this is about feeling as though you were betrayed backstabbed uh, you know, um, you know, things weren't working out and, and, and you completely felt exhausted and defeated. But the 10 comes in here to say, guess what? It's over. Things are going to improve. You're going to have a, a, you know, you're going to be able to get over this and you're going to be able to say goodbye to all this tension and stress. So, you know, some of you may have been going through a situation like that where now you're going to be able to find that it's over. You've got, you've got, um, you've got closure now. You're able to go after your new beginning and walk out on that new journey. The magician says you can do it. You've got all the resources there, my beautiful, beautiful Aries, to go after what you want and be creative and take action. You've got that power of manifestation right now that's working in your favor. You have the ability to also convey information articulately to other people, and that means teach, preach, uh, you know, have uh, talk to people. Um, you know, you you're you you have this ability to put yourself on a level where you can tap into their energy and who they are in order to sell them something or convince them of something or portray <clears throat> something to them. You have the gift of gab, as they say. So you know you're you you are working towards your goals here. You're able now to visualize what you want. Keep that in your pocket all the time. Manifest what it is you want, my beautiful Aries, and believe that it's coming into you. Okay, believe that it's coming. So <clears throat> let's see what we have here for this as well. What do you need to see, know, and expect? What else do you need to know when it comes to this? <clears throat> all righty, let's see what we've got here. Oh, beautiful you've got judgment so that you're making a, you are making um you are making a judgment call here which means you've you've come to a conclusion you're moving on in a new direction you've made your mind up and you're there's no going back uh you're you're only going to want to share your time uh whether it's in your career in a relationship your new life your new journey this next stage in your life with somebody new or somebody who totally gets you so you're you're moving forward in a new direction and i do believe that you're leaving troubled waters to go to calmer shores here you've made that conclusion there's no going back you don't want to go back and this is going to work out because you've made that decision a judgment call has been made and often with a judgment card it means that 
it's been waived in your favor. So again, if some of you are dealing with legal issues, I see that, you know, there's going to be the gavel coming down, done and done, and it's over and done with. So I do think, though, when I say, uh, you know, judgment and justice are very similar here in, in the tarot deck, but you're moving away from a situation. You've made that, uh, that decision that something has to end and you're not going to con con always feel as though you're defeated. You want to move on. And that's what the Ten of Swords was depicting as well. Okay, coming in in your second week, let's see what you have. You have the Eight of Wands, you have the Queen of Wands, and you have the Ace of Wands. Very, very good cards. So definitely, we will start with the Ace of Wands. There's new opportunity coming in. That's clear and concise. It's a new beginning. So something's being offered to you that's going to inspire you, and it's going to be wonderful. Uh, it's good news when the Ace of Wands comes in. It's almost like the Divine stepped forward and said, hey, it's your time to shine. It's your time to glow. It's your time now to be happy and prosperous. You're maybe finding a new passion and a new walk on your path. This part of your journey, whether it's at work, in your career, whether you're moving a, a geographically, locating from a different place to another, or you're moving into a new relationship. Something new is coming in here and it's going to be exciting. And you're getting into the game now, okay? You're going to be able to travel and go the distance to do what it is you want. And this is about growth and action. We talked about nurturing that, keeping that in the back of your mind to stay inspired, stay focused because the Queen of Wands is so much about that. You know, she she always flips the bird and anybody that says that they doubt her and her motives, she says, watch me. Uh, she's walked through the fire, she's come out the other side, and now she's the phoenix rising. So you have this ability, and you may have been feeling this sort of energy around your life for a while, and now you're going to come out the other side feeling vibrant and enthusiastic, this is a beautiful card. She's also very generous, this woman. And she and somebody could be coming in here to be generous for you. And and you're able now to uh, to take on those values, um, you know, because she's also very nurturing as well. She's This person uh, looks towards her, her family uh, with loyalty, and she's got, you know, great, great values when it comes to family. She's a, she's a wonderful nurturer herself. So you're taking on maybe some of these elements. But the, the main... The main representation of this is I'm getting is stay focused. Don't give up. Keep going after your goals. You've got a clear eye. You're going to have a clear sight line to be able to do that soon. Here it comes. I said soon. Wow. Eight of wands. Fast moving action. Hasty speed. Things are going to pick up. You're going to see momentum picking up now. It's progress. And it's things you're rushing into action now. It's going to be exciting times. Again, this could be travel. You could be all of a sudden, boom, packing your bag and out of there. Heading home. Heading on a trip. Heading in a new direction. Whether it's romance, a holiday, or relocating. This is a card that says your hard work is paying off and you deserve these good results. So beautiful messages coming in for you. You. let's see what we have with that my beautiful Aries let's see what we have with that so we'll do a little bit of a shuffle here and see what we have with that okay you have the magician again so another good uh, another good message that says you're going to soon if not already have the resources at your fingertips to go after your goal go after uh, you know what it is that you are planning on wanting to do how you're visualizing your future unfolding before you what is it you want to do you've got the resources the universe says you've got time effort support and you may even be getting some unexpected help resources time and effort or maybe even a silent partner partner stepping up if it's business if you need money if you need a, a you know a temporary loan if you need to bridge financing uh, anything here there's going to be help coming in you just have to be strong and you have to continue to believe it's there remember we talked about the eight and the infinity earlier there's the infinity above the magician's head and eight again is what we manifest on master number for money <clears throat> okay, let's see what we have here for your next row. Well, we've got the tower, we've got the three of swords, and we've got the chariot. So we're going to go into the first card here. The, the, there's definitely going to be very sudden change coming into you, okay? Or this could have been past tense uh, when something suddenly happened to you and everything, your world started to crumble down and you felt as though, what am I going to do, right? But what happens with this card is it means you're going to step up, you're going to be focused, and you're going to now be able to rebuild a brand new life and finance, uh, pardon me, brand new life and and um, 
structure here, a foundation. Now, whether that's in your job, in your career, relationships, your life in general, this is change, sudden change and upheaval that caused this. But now you're able to move forward because you've reevaluated, you've looked at the tragedy. This is a lot of things that can end. It could have been a divorce. It could have been um, <clears throat> your job, your career, something powerful in your life that's happened here. But now you're able to go after what you want by making change. And you're definitely going to see change coming in. This was something that devastated you, Aries. Um, it was great disappointment, great pain. <clears throat> it was almost like heartache. Um, <clears throat> some of you felt isolated and lonely for quite a while separation separation from something or someone uh, but complete disorder that happens when we get this three of swords now for some of you it could have been the end of a relationship could have been a third party that stirred the cauldron that caused all of this but you're healing through it you're, you're working past it you're not going to hold this energy in your heart anymore that's how i always read this three of swords now you come out the champion at the end of this at the end of the day here you are in the chariot you know, going after your goals, charging in towards your happiness and your and what it is you want. It's victory, okay? It's victory. It's overcoming any any difficult obstacles that you've had to work uh, on. And now you're going to see finally success. And it's all because you your due diligence and your determination and your fortitude to believe in yourself, to stand up for yourself, stand up for your convictions and keep moving forward, not giving up. You know, this is all about you and your hard work paying off now because you focused on it so you come out ahead as i say with the chariot that is definitely the champion card so coming out ahead of the game some of you could be planning a vacation a small trip you could be going from one location to another uh, you could be moving but definitely there's travel involved here soon coming in for you Okay, there's going to be some travel, there's going to be some change of residence, change of something here. Now, with this, you've got the nine of <clears throat> the nine of wands, and that again is a card of focusing on not giving up, but believing you're going to be free to go forward. This is a card that says there's many times you felt like rolling over in the fetal position and saying, I'm done, I give up, I can't go, go through this crap anymore. But no, you don't do that. With this card, you come out ahead, you come out the champion here, you come out the winner here, you heal through all these problems, all these issues that you've had to deal with because you stayed true to yourself. Okay, that's what this is about. Don't give up. Don't roll over. No matter how hard and challenging these situations can be, don't give up. <clears throat> okay, coming in next, your final roll. We have the Page of Wands. We have this beautiful Nine of Cups. And we have the Three of Cups. I love this. So as you're rolling through this month of September, there's going to be change again. There's going to be good news. There's going to be opportunities. There's going to be new beginnings. Pages are young and enthusiastic and they come with ideas. This one comes with optimism. This one comes with you being courageous, you being uh, going after what you want and not being afraid. Again, we talked earlier about you being a salesperson, you being able to stand up for your convictions and sell to the powers that be who you truly are okay you're inspirational you're going to get your chance to stand on your soapbox soon and speak your piece okay so i do think you're going to find great opportunities because of this and wishes are going to be fulfilled whatever that is that you've been working towards your wishes are going to come true okay your dreams you're going to be able to realize now that those dreams that have only been in your head are now going to be able to actually manifest before you in in the physical form come into you or you okay because you focused you didn't give up you stood up for yourself uh, you know, you knew that you had the, the opportunity here for great fortune and good luck and you've done the work. So now you're going to see the abundance and prosperity coming in from your achievements. This is a card of reward and happiness and fulfillment. Now, look what you get with this. This is amazing. Yeah reason to celebrate something wanting to get together with family and friends and colleagues here gatherings wanting to you know be able to share your feelings with other people on a happy level this could be you know things are going to be clear now you're going to be able to move forward towards your goals and everybody's going to be happy for you as well now this can also be the card of announcements of a, the birth of a child or, or an impending child being born a pregnancy uh, maybe a housewarming party maybe it's going to be a reunion maybe it's going to be a wedding or an engagement uh, whatever they they just said freedom to me so take that for whatever you want uh, they throw these things in my head so you're going to maybe feel this wonderful feeling of freedom because you're going to be able to celebrate and be happy okay let's see what we've got coming in with that as well 
see what we have here. All right. Oops. We've got the Page of Swords. So we talked about the Page of Wands and opportunities. Again, new beginnings. This is being able to see things clearly. This is a new exciting ideas coming in. You've had to be strong and you're going to have to continue to be strong and you're going to have to continue to stand up for yourself. It's as though you're trying to prove something to the powers that be who you are and what you stand for. And, um, this is an exciting card that says don't give up again. This is new opportunities coming in. Uh, you being able to go after your goals. It's the beginning stages. So again, opportunities here that are happy ones. This one here is something exciting and new. It might have to do with a legal issue. Maybe there was something here that you had to deal with on a legal, um, a legal level here. But you're going to be able to do it. This is amazing. Well, my beautiful, beautiful Aries, this is your reading for the month of September. And I truly wish you a wonderful, prosperous, healthy, and happy month. And know that I always send you lots of love and many blessings. And I'll see you soon.